What's up, old school homies? Today we're gonna talk about our trading cards. Really all that collectible. I was in Tennessee recently and my grandpa said, I got some baseball cards for you. I kind of hit him with one of these looks like, uh, I don't know, grandpa. I kind of was right, okay? I could have been wrong. But I was at home a week later and someone said, hey, do you want this gigantic box of baseball cards? While I was washing their car. Of course, my, my dumb ass. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm really excited about that, you know? And it's sort of an insult to the players, if, if anything. Let's just go into some of the best possible cards that you can come up with. I'll go into basketball. I'll go into football. I got a bunch of hockey cards, all right? <laughs> Let's go into it. When you're looking for value, it would be better to find some sort of value that would be valuable to yourself. Now, as a rock collector, I might have learned something. This is the largest rock in the world. Yes, at 1,143 feet above the barren desert plain of Northern Territory, Australia, the rock itself is 1.5 miles long and one mile wide and is located 250 miles from the nearest major town, which is Alice Springs. Okay, that's a rock, man. One rock. I don't know if it's connected at the bottom there. That might disqualify it. But you know, I'm, I got your back, rock collectors. We have a baseball card for a rock. Now, if that wasn't silly, what about the best football players to ever live? Emmitt Smith? Michael Irvin? Now, this is the reason the Cowboys are still loved today. I would say you got three or four bucks per card here. I eBay checked some of these. Now what about someone like Warren Moon? Yeah, three bucks. So football cards aren't panning out too well. Mm, I would say the 90s were the peak of cards in general. And this is the problem. I'm gonna bring it up to you guys that this is the problem. The cards before the 90s are worth a little bit more money. But your dad didn't really keep them in good condition, did he? I know mine didn't, but he bought a few. And I do have some baseball cards from the 50s that are worth like 100 bucks here and there. But they are the better players. They're not really just any common card. Those cards don't really resonate with anybody if it's not somebody... That's pretty much in the Hall of Fame. So let's go into some of these 90s cards because that's pretty much all that's out there. If you're really trying to find anything before the 90s or 80s, yeah, you're, you're tripping pretty much. Like, you're going to have to find that in an attic, sort through a bunch of shit to find the stars like I did right here. And let's just go into some of the stars. Kim Griffey Jr. Oh, yes. The pinnacle of any baseball card collector's collection. I've had many of his rookie cards, which I found out really weren't worth very much. Some of them are, but it depends on the brand, actually. This is a Fleer. Fleer was more of a common brand. Uh, I, I believe the upper deck ones are worth money, and actually the Don Russ is worth money. $11,000 or something, but... For some reason, a lot of his cards just aren't worth a lot. Now, Bo Jackson, this is pretty much the best, um, besides Deion Sanders, I would say they're about equal, best football and baseball players there ever was. Bo, I think you're cutting in at about 10, 20 bucks here. If that, barely, if you could get someone to buy it and then you ship it and then it's got dents in it and they're going to send it back and you lost out on your five bucks 
Barry Bonds, dude. Like, a dollar? Come on, man. Barry Bonds? Deion Sanders, one dollar? <laughs> Don't make me cry. Let's go into basketball. Maybe this will fix everything. Michael Jordan. This has to make sense, right? I believe we clocked in at about seven to eight dollars on you. If you can't be like Mike, what can you be? Okay. Kirk Gibson. We all remember when he won the World Series hitting that game winning Grand Slam. He got about three dollars for that. <laughs> so let's not value the player by the value of their card because you're pretty much insulting them. Bo, I would collect his cards because he's Bo. Ken Griffey Jr., you're looking at another three bucks. Now, this is a pretty cool card. It has a little, you know, artistic quality. Now my Daryl Strawberry cards. This is why I said yes, I will take that from you. There were several Daryl Strawberry cards in there. My favorite player. You guys had to live in the 80s and 90s to understand just how cool Daryl was and still is. He's actually cooler than he ever was right now. And I'm getting about a dollar out of it. Come on, man!